Hello and welcome to Oops. If you're wondering why I've got this uh, silly hat on, I, <laughs> I ain't been very well, so I came out on the e-bike and uh, I'm at the field at the west side of Drove Lane. So, as you can see there, tree's been chopped down. Probably be told they were suffering from some kind of uh, illness, some disease and there's some more and uh, developers don't really like trees do they they're like non-indigenous saplings well this is a field it's been on, on the cards quite a while it's just west of drive lane and they want to build 20-ish houses on here um, Absolutely bloody ridiculous. Right, I'll just put the map up now and you can see to the right of the map that's where they're now going to try and gain exit so you can get on and off. Opposite are the cottages and behind that hedge there are a lay-by where the residents of that cottage park so our guess is it's going to come out on the corner there so obviously because developers don't like hedges or trees this hedge here which kind of backs onto the old Aaron canal which is basically heritage uh, they'll probably cut down if they get permission and I intend not for them to get permission. Now then, this was released on the West Sussex Council site July. We didn't get wind of it, thanks to Elaine Corden Lee, until two days before the ejection ran out. So everybody did the best they could and we managed to get quite a few objections. Uh, so We'll see what happens, but we, we, we've got to stop this now. You know, enough's enough. Um, up in the Black Country, the uh, Crooked Arms pub was uh, mysteriously set on fire two weeks after it was purchased. And then Dud Dudley Council told them uh, you can only knock the top bit of the building down as that was unsafe. So the developers, or someone, decided to flatten the lot and the black country people have been up in arms and they're on the case okay they can't bring it back but they sure as hell are making a row and i think we should make a row about things like this i told you i'd come on me e-bike look <laughs> that's uh hmm it's the oops mobile
don't know if you'll make this out, but just over there is a deer. There's two. If they build on these, they're going to lose the home the same as their previous generations have lost their homes. So, just try and zoom in a little bit more. And there they are, two deer. And this is the field. That's what we can be building 20 houses on. And it floods. As you can see, I'm a bit pissed off. Right? Today is my wedding anniversary. Our wedding anniversary. No, it's mine. <laughs> and Miles hiding behind the camera doing the f this bit of filming, right? Um, but to celebrate, I went out and... Uh, I had to look at the field west of Drove Lane. We knew that was coming. Definitely knew it was coming, right? Um, it was refused, and what did the developers do? Oh, the entrance we put was there. So we need to get it through planning. So we'll put the entrance there. They don't care. Land Mead, Land Link, you don't care. All you want is that money. I'm sick of it, right? 20 houses on that land. I can see what's going to happen. It's just going to keep going. Right? It's going to follow that road. You lot don't care if people get killed on that road by the chaos you've caused of people coming on and off the estate. You really don't care. I actually do. And people need to fight this. I keep hearing and seeing on Facebook... Oh, it's a waste of time. Nothing's a waste of time. Right? I went out today. I'm, I've been, I'm quite poorly, right? If I can get off my arse and go and film things and raise it and bring it to the public's attention, yeah, you can at least support it and object, right? Talk about objecting. I've tried to read this local plan, right? It's beyond me, and I have tried, okay? I do know these 20 houses are beyond the local plan. In other words, there shouldn't even be an attempt to build on that field. But they keep coming back, and they keep coming back, and they keep coming back, and I'm absolutely sick of it. What we need down here is 200 black country people and they'd show you how to bloody protest and they'd show you how to stop things being done because they get their hands dirty. The only thing you can do <coughs> is vote yes to this. It's not perfect, it's out of date, but it's the best ammunition we've got Rather, other than that, we can start war on the developers. I'm quite happy to do that. But I am so sick of it. While I was filming today, people were coming up to me, asking me what I was doing. And I was telling them, you know, what I was filming and, and why. And they was like, oh, we didn't know. Why didn't they know? Yeah, we got the Bocklot development coming up. We've been fighting tooth and nail to get it stopped. Yeah. So, as you can see, it's a bit of a rant from me. And it's a bit of a rant from... <sighs> her. And that's it. I'm out. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye.